What's up, Doc? Welcome back to Breath of the Wild. <laughs> That's a horrible joke. That was not even a joke. I don't even know what you call that. So here we are in Divine Beast Varuta. About to start her up. Get her done, you know. This was our second dungeon of the playthrough. If you haven't been following, well, then uh, welcome to the party because we're about to make some serious crap happen here. First of all, jump in the water to get away from this guy's laser. I don't know. And then just one-shot him because, well, you know, that's what we do now. We have plenty of weapons to handle things here. Today's another very windy day out there, so... Don't be surprised if, uh... If I start saying something like, Oh, oh there goes my door again. <laughs> I actually... On Amazon yesterday... Or not yesterday, but the day before. It actually came in the mail today. I was surprised it came in that fast, but... I got myself a soundproof curtain. So I'm gonna set that up in here in the next few days. I need to get a curtain rod. So I can probably just get that at the store. I'll have to measure how... Like, what the distance is between that wall and the other wall that I'll put it up in. But, I think it'll be pretty cool. Thanks, Mifa. Thanks for the encouragement. You're so much better than that other guy. Actually, I don't know, but... <laughs> in terms of voice acting, the other guy's probably got her beat, but... Eh. Besides the point. There it goes. There's our first door opening by itself of the day. Plenty more where that came from. Yeah, like, it's been the last couple of days now. It's just been, like, insanely windy. Oh, and then last night, the power went out. <laughs> it was, like, midnight. I was rendering a video and uploading a video, both of which got cut off by the power going out. So then I finally got back on and got my computer started back up about an hour later. Well, it was funny because I decided to leave the house and drive around because it was, like, pitch black. And the three of us were sitting in the living room and I was playing some ghetto music on my phone. Just because the silence was, you know, deafening, to be honest. And so, yeah. Hey, you've obtained the map of the so I was like, oh, I'm going to leave the house and go check it out. And I go halfway down the road. You the street lights are on there. On your map. So it was like a really small area. That had been affected by this. But fortunately, it was only like an hour later. So when I got back home, it was still off. Be careful. And it was like, so I got on my phone and I googled. You know, report power outage. Let's see what I can find. And I was just putting the information in when suddenly it came back on, so... It's always when you least expect it, you know? Well, that's where we started there. So, just like before, we have five terminals we have to find. We already found one of them, so... I'm gonna head back this way. This was the mouth right here. Or, no, 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 it was actually a little further up. Ah, hiccup. Gotta have our mandatory hiccup of the video. Fortunately, it's not like a hiccup where, like, a recording stutter or anything like that. So that would suck. I see quite a bit from here. It's always so much prettier at nighttime. And at least we don't have to worry about Stalfos or anything, you know, spawning in the dungeon. That doesn't happen, thankfully. <laughs> so that's a good deal. You can see on this little spinning wheel here, you know, and the first time I played this, I hadn't, like, trained my eyes to recognize those things, so I didn't even realize there was one inside the wheel. But it turns out there is, and if you time this just right here... Ooh, that, man, that couldn't have been more perfect, actually. You can get to this one. But that was the least of my problems, let me tell you. My first time through this dungeon, I didn't know anything about this game, and... I didn't understand the rules of it and everything, and so there was something very important that I was missing. And it's crazy because the game actually, I believe that it really tells you. I don't remember how clear it is, maybe I should watch for that, but... Uh, so that's the second one. Let's actually do this real quick, because there's a treasure chest in here. There's actually a treasure chest in the first room that I missed. Go back and get that in a little bit here. Thank goodness that wasn't the spoke that had the malice on it. Sometimes you try to jump on this, and there's like malice, and it's really annoying. Alright, here we go. What do we got? Silver rupee, not bad. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this first treasure chest, because if I don't get it now, I'm gonna forget about it. So, oops, I went too far down. Didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, yeah, let me see. It's, um... Well, um... That's strange. Am I thinking of a different room? I must be thinking of a different room. Well, maybe I was right there at it. <laughs> That's so weird. Oh, no, no, no. It's, it's over here. Okay, I thought this was all like, yeah, it's right there, see? It's even on its side. <laughs> Somebody's been messing with the treasure down there. Some fish probably bumped into it or something. So there's our ancient spring that we earned. Just like a chimp. Anyway, so back at the hill. This looks so different at night. I don't think I've ever done this one at night. It looks a lot cooler at night. It's kind of like, you know, everybody's out there sleeping, and I'm just busy doing stuff. Like, I'm busy basically being Santa Claus here. So when they wake up in the morning, their life is going to be a lot better. But anyway, well, what we want to do is get up here to the third floor, I guess you would call it. <laughs> I don't know if you'd call it a floor, but well... So there's the mouth right there, the one that I bombed. Get over here. Don't be chomping your mouth at me. What, is that supposed to be threatening or something? Because let me tell you something, it ain't. Now, I could be using Revali's Gale to get around here faster. But, um, I, I don't want to do that because I kind of just want to show it the way it was meant to be shown. There might be one point a little later where I do use it. Anyway, this is the part that I couldn't figure out. I didn't realize that you could change the position of the trunk. And because I didn't realize that, I spent about 45 minutes just banging my head against a brick wall trying to figure out how the hell do you turn this wheel? As it turns out, if you watch the map down there, you can see the trunk moving. And when it comes over here, it the water coming down from the trunk actually turns the wheel itself. So that's how you do it. That's how you finally, you know, and I tried all this, I was jumped into the wheel and tried using stasis on this stuff to bump it away from, like, to try to bump that block away from the treasure chest to try to get to it. Or to try to get this ball on the switch and all. And it's like I could get it on the switch, but then it would just fall right back off. I'm like, what the hell am I supposed to do? So I thought well, maybe I needed to put, you know, use a, use stasis to get it up there and then right after that use it again to freeze it, but it's like, well, no, because then the stasis needs time to charge, so I can't do that. Anyway, what ended up happening was I went on the Twitch and tried to find, like, somebody who was streaming the game who was on this part, because there were no videos on YouTube yet. This was, like, the first day. Crap. I missed my chance there. Um, yeah, this was, like, the first day after it came out, so... Anyway, I go on a Twitch and I actually find someone who's in this dungeon. I'm like, oh, this is awesome. So while I'm still trying to figure it out, I'm listening to him over there playing. And he gets to this point and, you know, he spends about ten minutes on it. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm in the chat there saying, I couldn't figure this out either. How the hell do you do this? And uh, eventually he, like, stops playing and walks away for, I guess, about five minutes. Okay, let me see. We want to freeze this top block here before it falls, so that only the bottom one falls. And then that's how we get the treasure chest. Easy as pie. Okay, now let me see here. Okay, so one of the spokes on this wheel also... Okay, it's that one right there. So we want to get on this, hopefully we don't fall. Good, and on you. Hopefully this despawns in time for me to get it. Yes, plenty of time. And open sesame. Fire arrows, hell yeah. And then this is kind of how we get up here. There's actually an easier way, oops. I saw that coming and I didn't do a thing about it. <laughs> okay, so switch here actually activates a waterfall. So now we have an easier way to get up here. 
So we don't have to jump on the wheel next time if we want to get back up here. Like if we fall or something. I mean, I don't, I don't see myself going back down there again deliberately. I don't. But anyway, this is another part where I probably could use Revali's Gale to cheese some of it. But I'm not going to. I'm going to bring this down to the lowest possible level. Well, this is so cool because you can actually see it moving. In the other dungeon, you could see it too. But something about this one, you just, oh man. It's just so epic. So, uh, knock you right there. Whoa! Oh, I was falling so fast that even in slow motion, that you could kind of see movement there. Oh, that didn't make any sense. Okay. So we need to get up there, but even with the trunk at its lowest point, we can't climb that. So it's like, well, what do you do? Well, unfortunately, bad news, bears, we have to go back. We have to move the trunk up again a little bit here. So we kind of need to get back where we were. A little bit too steep here. I think, yeah, this should be good. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Okay, um... Seriously, dude. Holy crap. Still made it back to the hallway despite all that mess. So now let's move the trunk back down again. Nope. Yeah, that water is gonna get in your face a little bit, and you don't exactly have... Well... I was gonna say you don't exactly have goggles, but... I stopped myself because I realized that was painfully unfunny. Huh. So now we can get to the tip of it. We couldn't do this a second ago. So now we're gonna move it again. This is what I was gonna I was gonna use Rivali's Gale to just get up here. Instead of having to move the trunk down, go back, and then move it up again, but now eh, once again, you know. It's okay, it doesn't take that much time. Get up here to the next thing. Yeah, last time I'm I'm paranoid about this now because last time I did this I actually fell off here. Like they had this little platform to catch you, but sometimes it doesn't. I'm sure I can activate that the way this is now. <laughs> sure it looks like I can. I guess not. Oh well. Let's move it up a couple more notches here. Yeah, that should be good. I love the sound of it that the divine beast makes when you do stuff with it. Just one terminal remaining. I have faith in you. That's so very sweet. That's sweet that you have faith in me. It's very sweet indeed. Okay. So now from here we can actually get up on the roof. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to hit this from here, because I know... Someone told me that that Freenic bow that I threw away, those Freenic bows that I threw away, would have been useful. I guess they have better range than the other bows or something. I wasn't really aware of that, but... piece of cake. Yeah, I don't really know how to tell if a bow has range or not, like, I thought maybe the attack power also doubled as the range, but maybe not. I don't know, anyway. Yeah, so, so this, so then this last, um, terminal also bugged me a little bit, because I got to this point and I still didn't realize that you had to hit the eye, so I was over here throwing bombs at the mouth. Just over and over again, bombs, 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 and nothing, and it wasn't working, and it was driving me crazy, and I was like, what the hell am I supposed to do here? And when I finally did notice the eye, which probably took another five minutes or so, and I was like, oh, I see, do that. Huh? So that opens up the ceiling here, which then allows us to move the trunk so that the water's spinning on this fire down here that we can't get through. Oh yeah. Elephant versus fire. I don't think so. I'm sure there's um I'm sure there's a Pokemon battle that could demonstrate this better, but I don't know what it is. Dawn fan or something comes to mind. Now you can start the main control unit. Yes I can. Oh, absolutely not. What do I look like? Uh 
a glass cannon. What do I look like? My Dokapon character? I think there might have been another treasure up there. Oh, well, there's one right here. I don't think they tell you where the treasure chests are on the map. Oh, nice, Halberd. That wouldn't actually be bad to have, but... What would I drop for it? There's an 18-spear right there. Shoot. I have way too many good weapons here, let me tell you. Well, I guess that sword there is probably just about dead, so... It's worth it to throw that out and take this instead. Ba -ba Alright. I don't know, that's kind of... Well, well, that was where I shot the eye. If, I'd, if there had been a treasure there, I probably would have seen it. Right, we're going to stay up high here, even though we really don't need to. So for the most part, as far as I know, I think that's all the treasures, too. It's pretty much done here. Done, though. Done like turkey dinner. Let's do it. Change is what we need here. Alright. Well, I'm out of full health, am I? Jeez. Alright, well, um... What do I even have here? Oh, I got a couple things here. Okay, good. Um, also, we need to change this weapon. You know what? I ain't holding back. She was my friend, you asshole! Ooh, that was way too early. Come on with it. Go ahead. Try me. Try me. I really want to get the... Oh, you know it. Don't have to remind me. Oh, I didn't even get the flurry rush. Holy crap, dude. Was I just too far away? Well, that was something. Okay, fine. We'll do this the other way. Which is use arrows. Except that doesn't work either, does it? <laughs> Well, it does, you just have to hit him in the eyes, the problem. I don't even want to go for it. That spear's got a really long reach, I tell you what, like, it's all across the... all the way across the border here. can seem to... There we go. I mean, I'll just run right up to you and... have my way with you, if that's what you'd rather do. Oh, shoot, that's that... oh man, that's an attack where he... stabs it into the ground. And you beat me to it. I thought I was gonna get all up in arms here. Fine, whatever. I'm playing around no more. Going to the second form. I'm not sure what he's attached to up there. Something invisible, probably. Anyway. <laughs> Not much room to operate. Well, we'll make room if that's what we gotta do. You know what? I suppose we might as well take a look at... Oh, oh, oh. Oh, uh, let's see. Maybe we want to do something about that. Well, maybe he's missing. I had to stop for a second and think about which button to press. Good lord. How bad is that, man? You got 200 hours on this game, and you gotta stop and think about what button to press. That's just horrible, man. Where are you going? You need to go over there, are you? A little too high. All right. Hmm. 
Now, let's try this again. Plenty of time. It's just a matter of... I'm just totally relaxed here. I don't even give a shit. Like, I should be all in vengeance mode and everything, but I'm sitting here like, Ugh. Oh, you're gonna... Okay. I crouched. Didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to whistle either. Uh, should we try something a little more epic? Like, say, this? Oh, wow. Uh, can we stun him even once here? I mean, good god, man. Oh, he missed. I mean, like, I swear, I, it feels like I'm definitely hitting him in the eye, but... Maybe not? We can just do this the ghetto way if we want. It's like... Man, dude. It's a lucky thing I have this armor, let me tell you. Oh, he's going over me this time, is he? Jeez, we got like one hit left on this guy. Holy crap, dude. Oh, alright, great. We're doing this now. That's alright. I don't mind. I ain't mad. Yeah, suck on that. That's what you get, man. You mess with my girl. I could have done that way better, though. Man, I can't believe I couldn't stun him a single time, man. Jeez. Well, so apparently, as of yesterday, so the day I'm recording this is, what, May... May the 2nd? I think it's May 2nd. Anyway, so apparently they just announced the new DLC for this, so... It's pretty exciting stuff. <laughs> I haven't actually purchased the DLC yet, which is the crazy part. I guess I need to get on that, because I'm not sure when that's coming out. They say it's summer, so I assume, like, June, after June 21st, but... Who's to say for sure? Sounds pretty exciting, though. They got some cool stuff in there. Very cool stuff. Stuff I wasn't expecting. Like, I was wondering how they were going to go with about doing hard mode, you know? Because most games, hard mode is just like, oh... You know, you take double damage, or enemies have twice the health, or some stupid crap like that. But in this one, it's like... The enemies actually regenerate health, which is super cool. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll do that. They also level up, but um, I'm gonna shut up here for the cutscene. Hello, Link. Because of your courage, my spirit is now free, and Ruta as well. Thank you, for I am now allowed by this freedom to be with you once again. Since I am now a spirit, my healing power would be wasted on me. I have no need of it. So therefore, I would like you to have it. Please accept Mipha's grace. <laughs> Yesterday, I was awash in a pool of tears. I had nearly given up hope and resigned myself to being trapped here as a spirit for the rest of eternity. But now you're here. All this time my hope was to see you once more. Promise me that you will not hesitate to call upon my power if you ever find yourself in need. Knowing that will let my spirit rest in peace. I must go. Ruta and I have our roles to fulfill. We are both honored to be able to play the role of support. We'll annihilate Ganon together. Farewell. Save her, Link. Save the princess. Save Princess Zelda.
Ruta, we found a way to be useful to Link, and the other champions, of course. Our job will be to help Link as he fights Ganon inside the castle, however we can. Using your ability to drain Ganon of his power is key to our success. This is it. This will be our last chance, and everyone's last hope. If we seal him away, then we can restore peace to Hyrule. And both your duty and mine will be fulfilled. Father, are you well, I wonder? I want you to know I have always followed my heart. I'm sorry I made you worry. I wish I could see you again. Even just once more. So now we get, um, so it's kind of like a fairy, fairy, Ugh, a fairy, a fairy, fairy. It's like a perpetual fairy, sort of, but it does have to recharge. So you don't have it all the time. It's not like you have everlasting life now, but it definitely helps. Let's get this guy here. Oh, if it isn't the Hylian. <laughs> well, if it ain't the bell of the ball. So, yeah, how do you like the sunshine? It's probably burning on your skin. Repairs require a large number of luminous stones. You can find plenty of them around Upland Zorana. Have you by chance already stumbled across some luminous stones? Oh, you bet I have. Sure. Side quest number one, luminous stone gathering. Here we go. Oh, if it isn't you again. Did you need something? Yep. Here you go, buddy. Knock yourself out. Please excuse me while I count them. Here, because we got to make sure here. Rrr, rrr, raw, raw. <laughs> okay, I must reward you with a diamond. Now, anytime you want to, you can come back to this guy and trade in ten luminous stones for a diamond. If you're doing that, whoa, huh? Oh, he just gave me a second one. <laughs> no, not a second one. For a second, I thought he took ten more luminous stones for that, but no, he just gives you that second one as a bonus. And if you're looking to sell stuff, you know. You're better off selling the Luna Stones, you'll get 700. Whereas a Diamond Stone, or a Diamond, will only get you 500, so... Not nearly as lucrative. But, the Diamonds are good too, though. For very various reasons, which we won't get into right now. Because to tell you the truth, I'm not actually entirely sure what they are. But, um, I know they're like, it's more upgrades and stuff, really, is all it is. Okay, where is that chick that wants the picture? She might not be here at this particular time of day. The Taltika. Good day. Hylian, have you seen? The rain that has been falling ever since Divine Beast Varuta was angered has finally stopped. What's that you and Prince Sidon? You didn't have to do that, sweetie! So dreamy. What do you do? Your tribal ways is glowing bright. Uh, I'm a swordsman. A swordsman? A traveling one? So cool! But, you know, Prince Sion is much cooler. You know what? I am not going to debate you on that. He is way cooler than me. I wouldn't doubt that for a second. I guess we should at least talk to the king while we're here, huh? <laughs> Wing, you did well to survive your trial. I've been waiting for your return. The violent downpour has disappeared, as has the threat to Zora's domain. This is all little more than a bad dream now. Thanks to your efforts, there is no longer any danger of a great flood laying waste to Hyrule. Yay! We done good. We done good, you guys. Aww. Whole time I was thinking of myself and how old I am. And I just, I got on this rant and I'm sorry, you know? I wish I could take it back now, but I'll never be able to. That stuff is on YouTube for the rest of my life. Thanks a lot, Nintendo Capri Sun, you fucking asshole. 
now that I implore you to take the chest over here because I don't have one and I'll never have one and I'll never be able to feel one with my hands. Never mind, I'm not doing this again. I'm not doing this to myself. Yeah, uh, perhaps. Is it truly lost? That is a legendary blade, you dummy. You don't just lose something like that. Anyway, whatever. <laughs> you too, Sidon. I know you're, like, cute and everything, but... There's more to it. There's more to life. Just look what happened to your sister. Don't want that happening to you, too. I, I say as I laugh, you know, because... <laughs> <laughs> How many times can you possibly do that? Oh my god. Seriously. Oh man. He's shaking my hand. He's shaking it. You don't touch that. You don't know where it's been. I actually love this right here. This is so cool. You know, because this was my first dungeon, my first time. So the first time I saw that, it just, I don't know, it just makes you feel really good, you know? You're, like, helping out an entire community here. It's not just something where you're saving the whole world. I mean, I mean that's good, too, you know? But but actually getting to be there and see that, oh, oh, wait, oh, we want that, though. I want that. I want that weapon. Oh, I can't throw this away. We're gonna have to throw something away here, and I don't know what it's gonna be. I guess the Knight's Halberd. As much as I hate it. It's pretty rare to find a spear with this kind of attack power, though, so yeah, definitely take it. But the thing is, there's something special about this spear. There's actually a side quest that you can only do with that spear, and it's pretty close by, so we're going to do it straight away here. But first, I want to see, maybe now that we've done that, that cutscene, now she'll be standing where I think well, there is one over here we can do. Oh, you! Hi! It's me! I'm the one Prince Sidon left at the top of the tower! Oh, you made it down! Alright! In the end, I wasn't able to join up with Prince Sidon. Instead, I worked up some fighting spirit and jumped into Zora River from the top of the tower. Then I came back here. I was deeply moved seeing my reflection on the water's surface as I dove in. Yes, deeply moved. It is my observation that a person's true colors shine the brightest when they dive freely into the waves. Congratulations on the new Zora armor. It is most impressive indeed. Wearing the Zora armor, even a Hylian like you can climb a waterfall. Yeah, I heard about that. I don't remember who it was that told me, but... Yeah, sure. Alright, let's, let's do it. So this is the side quest. You dive. That's not a dive. That wasn't head first. Alright, one more time. Ugh. There we go. That's more like it. Blinding brightness! Radiant beauty! Okay, now climb the waterfall and meet me back here. Sure. Sure, I can do that. Just give me a second here. Let me just climb this waterfall. How often do you ever, how often do you hear somebody say that? Like, jeez, man. Okay. Oh, uh, what do you want? That was amazing! I saw your dive and waterfall climb with my own lucky eyes, and now these very eyes are flooded with tears of joy because I dove. You're, you're. Oh wow, that's not bad. Thank you. I feel emotionally ravaged after that. Wow, well, you should play 999. Holy crap! Looking forward to your next dive. I really will. Well, I'm sure you. Mm, all right. That sounds great. Where the heck are you? Still a shot. Oh, I guess I can just pick this up now. That guy's not all... Or is... Are you... This is... It's you, isn't it? Hello. Link, the Divine Beast has been appeased, but I fear there's still more something that threatens the domain. See up there? There's a red main monster named a lot Called a Lionel that lives on Ploymus Mountain. I really need a picture of a Lionel. It can be a picture of any red main Lionel, not just the one on the mountain. Oh, really? So I already had the picture anyway. I didn't even have to take it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm glad that was settled so quickly. See, there's this fool in the domain who goads people into jumping off Shatterback Point on Ploymus Mountain. Well, who is he? I'll go kill him for you. A real bottom feeder. Oh, really? Man. I don't know. I'll leave the details to you. Just bring me a picture of a Lionel. 
Sure thing. So that activates the side quest, and now we just talk to you again to finish it. Link, how's that Lionel mission coming along? I have your picture. Let me show it to you. There you go. <laughs> he just holds it up. I just love the... Oh, wow. It's my old picture. My apologies. That sound was not very dignified, was it? Pardon me. I'm all better now. That Lionel, how terrifying. Look how far away he is, and yet any second I expect him to just instantly rush towards me and stab me in the heart. <gasps> oh, to more than I can take. And with that, we get the third part of the Zora armor, so now we have the full set. Yes. This is a much better angle than that right there. I like, I like this. This is even better. These Zora Greaves were the last pair left in the stock room when he closed up shop. Wearing these, even a Hylian can swim as well as a Zora. As well as a Zora. Sweet, I believe I will. Okay, now there's one more here. This one involving the spear that's on my back right now. But I need to figure out where to activate it. Cause that's the tricky part. I think maybe right here? Yeah, 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 this one. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you look still and compared to Prince Sion, of course. But you're not half bad. In fact, I wouldn't mind talking with you for a bit. Um, <laughs> that song? I just love singing. I even remember that song from the Champion Festival. Ah, uh, sure. Prepare for, like, the cutest voice acting ever that's not actually voice acting at all. <laughs> I actually did it earlier, but, you know, just... Whatever. Okay, so this is, um... Hmm, well, basically it's a shrine quest. It's not it's just a side quest, but a shrine quest as well. And there's a little waterfall over here. It's called Veiled Falls. It's called that for a reason, because you can't always see it. Well, it's right there, isn't it? I think I can just jump to it from here. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Yeah, that's it right there. So it's not actually veiled at all. It's more like just it should be called right there falls, not veiled falls. What are these people thinking when they name these waterfalls? Seriously. Anyway, if you come over here now, this is really weird because you have to do this with this spear. You can't just do this with any weapon. You'll find that there's a little thing here. And according to the side, like, according, well, I don't know, according to who. So anyway, I guess technically what you're supposed to do is swim up the waterfall and then strike your weapon from up there and land on this thing. Unfortunately, though, that's really hard to do. And I've never actually done it, to be honest. Come up here like this. And turn the camera. And then it's like, you want to try to position yourself to try to strike this thing. But, like, the odds of you actually hitting it from this high up, I mean, no. Of course, you can, like, reposition yourself, I guess, but... A little more... Did that actually work? Oh my god. Okay, so I guess it doesn't matter if you actually... You know, like, pull back out your paraglider before you hit the ground slow yourself down and reposition yourself. But anyway, that's how you make the shrine appear. Is by hitting that with that spear. You can't do that with any other spear. So you, so you better do it with that spear while you have it, because if you break that spear, and then come back here later to try to do this later, you're not going to be able to do it. But there is still a way to do it, and the way to do it is to get a regular Zora spear. You know how I was talking earlier about how the Zora spears are everywhere? Well, there's a reason for that. Because you take the Zora Spear, and you take it to that guy that I was talking about, that... What is that blacksmith-looking dude on the right side of town? And you give the Zora Spear to him, along with a diamond, and he can make you another one. Then you can come over here and do it. But... But if you don't know where the Zora Spears are, that can be a bit of a problem. There's actually one under the throne room, 
or behind it in the water. It's just sitting there and you can pick it up. So there's one there that you can get. But otherwise, oh man. All of a sudden I'm just stretching up a sword. <sighs> anyway, fortunately this is one of those where it's just a blessing so we don't have to do anything here. This is really nice. Very nice indeed. We're definitely going to check the water though. Just to make sure. No, don't see nothing there. Don't see nothing there. Let's see this, this water looks more shallow than some of the other ones. I don't know. Maybe it's not? I don't guess it matters. Anyway, please don't be a weapon because I don't need those. Okay. Silver Rupee's fine. Silver Rupee's just fine. Just fine indeed. Fine and dandy. Alright. Well, actually, I'm not even sure where I'm at on Spirit Orbs right now. I think I just turned some in, so I should have like zero right now. I'm about to find out here. Yep. Alright, well, we're just starting our next set. That's okay though, I mean, shoot, we're looking pretty good here. Well, that was easy. So, let's see, yeah. So they say you can't go back to the Divine Beast once you're done. But it seems to still be here, so... I'm curious where it's going to take me when I do this. Because I don't know if you warp to the Ruta, or I mean to the Rito the Divine Beast, it'll just put you up right next to the Divine Beast. And then if you try to get too close, it'll say something like, Oh, you better not get too close, it's dangerous. Which, <laughs> yeah, it is dangerous. What they're about to do again is going to be real nasty. You don't want to be in the line of fire of that. Wow, where is this? Holy crap. Yeah, we're in the general surround. Right, is this up where that Korok was? Holy crap, what are we doing up here? Oh, okay, he's over here. That's what this pool is for. I always wondered why this pool of water was here. Well, that makes perfect sense. Yeah. Uh, too dangerous to go near. Don't do it. Don't do it. <laughs> Alright then, where are you going to spawn me? Man, look at him go. He's ready. He's ready to fire, let me tell you. But we can still go down here where he used to be. Take a look at some of these docks here. Let's see if there is anything else here to... Wait a minute. Oh wow, this isn't even close. Because he was over here. Well, that's a bit of a walk, isn't it? Holy crap. Well, where else can we go, then? It wants to be faster just to... Warp somewhere else. Because I saw a shrine in the cutscene, and I kind of wanted to, to maybe go get it. Do this some other way. That's okay. Who needs Revali's Gale when you can jump off waterfalls? Holy crap. Oh, hey, mister. I'm busy frogging. What? Yup. Since Mom hasn't come back from fishing yet, I've been catching hot-footed frogs and selling them to earn some money for our family. Oh, that's sweet. You were just pitying me, weren't you? You felt sorry for me, didn't you? Well, I don't need your pity. If you want to help, donate some hot-footed frogs. <laughs> okay. I should definitely have that. <laughs> so sleepy, I should go to bed. Do I? Hot-footed frogs. Let me take a look here. I would almost swear. Yeah, I got 27 of those bad boys. Get over here. Get over here. I got your frogs, man. Okay, maybe, maybe I need to come back a different day. Frog. They say Ruta has calmed down and yet... Ah, oh, it is you, Link. I'm sorry, I was talking to myself. Uh, the truth is, my wife May, May left and hasn't come back yet. After the Divine Beast of Aruta started rampaging, she went out to go fishing like everything was normal. And now Ruta has settled down, but she still hasn't returned. Uh, I'm afraid the worst has happened. If only I had stopped her from leaving. Oh, what, could, what do I do? I'll find her. Uh, Link, you saved Zora's domain, and now you're going to help me find my May as well. You are a true champion. I'm sorry to put this burden on you, but please, please bring her home. Alright. <laughs> a wife washed away. Not something you hear every day. There we go. Actually, you put it... Wow, the spear's fine. It's a light-scale trident. I would imagine it's, uh... Pretty light. Wow, what's going on outside? 
There's some kind of noises out there. Maybe it's the garbage man? Oh, there it goes. I think it is the garbage man. I'm not actually too sure. I don't even know what day they get the garbage here. But hey, you know, when you're climbing a cliff, what better thing to talk about than garbage, right? I was going to say, I should have way more stamina than that. There we go. Try this again. Good lord. It's like the way these rocks shine. It's just a small detail, but it's still super cool. It's the kind of thing you'd expect to see in a Metroid game. If we ever get another one of those. I'm holding out hopes over here, but... You never know. It's funny because there well, no, there is Metroid Prime. I was about to say, like, there really is no 3D Metroid game. What are you talking about, dude? It's Metroid Prime. That's 3D, isn't it? The thing is, we haven't really seen, like, a third-person 3D Metroid, and I think that would be super cool. I keep saying super cool. I don't know. It's just what comes to mind. Am I ever going to be able to walk on any of this? Please let me walk. Thank you. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> it's so funny on that tape when I try to hyperventilate to burp, and I'm like, oh, 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 and I start burping at the same rhythm as I was hyperventilating. It's like, seriously? You're one nasty critter, let me tell you. <laughs> I'm not even <laughs> remotely headed for this place. What am I doing? Jeez. I'm climbing a wall and laughing. Oh, I see something crawling down there. Holy moly. It looks magical. It looks it's scary. It looks enticing. But it's just a Korok. <laughs> but hey, at least we got it, right? Good deal. Good deal indeed. Alright, let's see. So I can see the shrine that I've been trying to get to here. The one that I could see while the elephant was... Yeah, it's right there. But if you try to jump to it, the wind will actually push you back. Like, literally, it will. So I'll get to that in a minute. There's one more thing I need to do here. Oh, boy. Can we somehow get up this? Yes! Okay, good. Well, thank goodness there's lots of flat spots here. It's kind of serendipitous, to be honest. Alright. You see the Divine Beast up there just to the north? Yeah, there's that weird-looking, like, circular pool there, and I always wondered, what is that for? What is that pool for? Well, apparently that's where the Divine Beast goes to do his thing. We have something cool here. Can we do this without blowing ourselves up? Yes! Man, nice! Sapphire and a ruby. Not bad at all. Okay, so a little bit more... Do I need to be higher? Probably. Oh, there we go. It's probably right there. Probably right there in the tree. Oh, actually, screw the tree, it's over here. Oh, this one's rotated. Huh. Alright, so... So it's like a... Oh, wait a minute. Wait, is that right? Because that one's making a triangle. Oh, so... <laughs> duh. That's right there. I had it all messed up. I had it all bass backwards. What can I tell you? Well, maybe jumping in the shrine from this angle will actually work better. I can't even still see it from here. It's right over... There it is. Okay, good. I was gonna say, I know you're still there. I know you're out there somewhere, do 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 somewhere. Somewhere. 
I know I'll find you somehow. Somehow we'll do okay. Let's just get to the ground before the wind starts kicking in. Oh god. Eat. Don't be dumb. Actually, if anything, it's, we're okay, because we got Mifa's grace and all. But you shouldn't count on that, you know? Like, don't take it for granted. Oh, is this... This wouldn't happen to be that place, would it? That place that I found on my very first playthrough where there was, like, a raft and... And then, like, a huge snow mountain that I... No, that's over here. That was over here. Okay, never mind. Oh, man. Got a little excited there. This is my very first time playing this. I wandered over here somehow. And I remember this so vividly for some reason. I was over here, and I didn't understand anything about what I was supposed to do. I saw a treasure chest half buried in the ground, and I thought it was just a detail. Like, I didn't realize I could have taken it out of the ground. And it's just like, oh, there's so much. There's so much about that that I remember... Because I remember crossing over, you know, to the mountain, and then climbing it, and it being so cold. And I was just sitting here eating food, trying to stay alive. And it was crazy. Because at that point, I didn't realize that there were two levels of cold. So I put on my cold resistance that I had at the time. And I was like, oh god, this isn't working. So then I realized, oh, there's more than one level of cold resistance. And that's when it really hit me how massive this game actually was. Might as well grab some apples here. It doesn't hurt to grab the wood either. The lino sword is really fast. So it has that going for it, if nothing else. I forgot I lost track of which way I was going here. Where is that shrine? Um I need to get to a high point here. Well here's what we can do. This is the worst way to ever to use a Revali scale, but... Okay, it's over there. Alright. It's amazing how easily you can lose your sense of direction in this game. I don't remember this shrine at all. Like, the surroundings of this? And I remember when I was playing, too, I was thinking to myself... This isn't gonna be so hard to remember all these. Like, they're all in epic places. There, there's something special about the surroundings of all of them. I mean, this one's got ruins by it, so I suppose. Oh man, this must be like a higher level than we've seen. Because you are definitely taking some hits. You're taking some punishment, let me tell you. I'm just swinging and missing like a... Oh boy. This is what happens when you don't wear your armor. Well, I don't have much left here. Well, I got all these fish. I might as well. Fish are there for a reason. Don't try to come behind me here, do you? Alright, alright. Make up your minds, guys. Which one of you wants to do this? Which one of you wants to die first? Good lord, man. You know, I could just... Oh. <laughs> well, thanks a lot for jumping out of the way and making that... Ten times less epic than it should have been. Man. What is that sword you were carrying? Oh, wow. Eightfold long blade. Well, since this is about to break anyway, we're just gonna get rid of it by throwing it at a tree and knocking it down. Because why not, right? Why not do that? Oh, there's a... Uh, there's some thorns surrounding this one. Fortunately, though, should be able to... Nope, nope. Well, I'm always, like, rapidly pressing the X button, because for some reason, it never wants to do the... Mm, nope. Alright, fine. Oh, and now it's raining again. Good lord. Let's go over here and take our anger out on this guy. Oh. Wow, I don't think I want to use that on him. Well, maybe I do want to use it on him. I don't know. Get on those spikes. 
Yeah. That's not good. I don't want you dropping your body parts over there. Anyway, this is like a maze of spikes. You can get into it if you want. I could just... Oh, I don't. I don't have any more Revali's Gale. I was going to say, I'll use my last Revali's Gale, but nope. I didn't do that. Didn't have one left to use. It's hard to see them in the rain, actually. Here we go. Now that I see the spikes, I remember which shrine this is, or I just I remember it in general. I thought it was just sitting out here in the middle of nowhere. Doing nothing. Of course, what puzzle awaits us on the inside remains to be seen. Five flames, oh man. Really? Okay. Uh it's not prepared for this at all. <laughs> Back to regular arrows here. Okay, so the idea is this cube corresponds to that one behind it. We need to light all five torches. But, as you can see, water's coming out from that thing over there. Right there. So we have to somehow keep that from touching any of the torches. It's an interesting puzzle, actually. So whichever way the arrow's pointing, that's the way that the cube is going to turn when you do this. So, what I'm going to try to do here is get this turned around that way. Okay, so that's three of them. One on top and one behind. So I think maybe if I turn it again, wait. Well, the arrows change though is the thing. So I want to turn it. Oh, no, no, no. No, they didn't change. That's right. Let's do this again. That's four of them. But then how do you get the one on top? Well, I have an idea. And I'm so sorry that I'm doing this, but... Yeah. <laughs> That's a lot simpler than just going through all the trouble of trying to figure out... I mean, I've done it before, and there is a way to do it. But, it's just like, well, you know. Some treasures back here, too, we might as well grab. Get set wood on fire. Yep. Or if you wanted to, you could use regular arrows and shoot them through the torches, you know, to burn the stuff on the other side. So technically, if you didn't have fire arrows, that's how you could do it. Oh, God. I'm going to start doing something about it, like, uh, I really wish... This this bow's almost broken, so we'll drop it. And then open the chest. There we go. At least that way it'll count as being collected. So when we look on the map, you see the little treasure chest symbol next to the name of the shrine. <coughs> which, uh... It's so nice to know you can check that from inside the shrine, because I didn't know you could do that. Thanks to Hefe Guap, who's been a, a huge help in the comments section for sure. There's a lot of space behind this one. Holy moly, man. What's going on back here? You could have a bong party back there. Holy crap. Anyway. That's another spirit orb. Oh, my God. oh! My commentary on this episode has been so shitty. Oh my God, it's the shittiest ever, man. The shittiest of the shittiest. But hey, it's whatever. So, two spirit orbs. Slowly working our way towards the next upgrade here. Got ninety-one Korox. Oh boy, I'm thinking we're gonna have to get the Lost Woods into the itinerary pretty shortly here so we can start upgrading getting those inventory slots so when I you know so when I find a bow that I'd like in a shrine or something just like just now you know I mean, situations like that wouldn't happen as often if I got my inventory upgraded I think at this point though pretty much ready to you know head on out of here so next time 
on Breath of the Wild? I still don't know. I, I honestly don't. I don't know what I'm going to do. Maybe that's a thing that we can do. We can head for the Lost Woods. Go ahead and just get that done so that we can go there, turn in our Korok seeds when we get too many of them. This is a nice looking staircase. So nice, in fact, I think I want to take a selfie here. So, next time on Breath of the Wild, dudes. Maybe Lost Woods, I don't know for sure. We'll see. Till then, take care. Yo. Knight's Claymore.